Now, apart from the war in Gaza, Israel is also facing an internal rift between Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Defence Minister Yoav Gallant. Netanyahu traded barbs with his defense minister, underscoring the internal splits which continue to worry the government as concerns are rising of an all-out war across West Asia. According to Israeli media reports, in a private briefing for a parliamentary committee on Monday, Galan stated that the hostage deal is being stalled due to Israel and that while the defense establishment backs the deal, there was a lot of nonsensical talk going on about total victory. Now, Netanyahu's office issued a statement rebuking Gallant, and the statement said, and I'm reading from it, when Gallant adopts an anti-Israel narrative, he harms the chances of reaching a hostage deal. Bibi further went on to state that it wasn't Israel, rather the Hamas chief, Yaya Sinwar, who was hampering chances at a hostage deal. The statement also mentioned that Israel's total victory is still aimed at the elimination of Hamas and bringing back the remaining hostages and that this obligates everyone, including the defense minister. Following Netanyahu's counter, Gallant took to social media to defend himself, emphasizing that he is determined to meet the goals of the war and continues the fighting. The exchange comes as Israel has been bracing for a possible attack by Iran and the Iranian-backed Hezbollah movement in southern Lebanon. This after Israel killed a senior Hezbollah leader and the chief of Hamas, Ismail Haniyeh, who was assassinated in Tehran. The public reprimand of Gallant, who has repeatedly clashed with Netanyahu and the nationalist religious parties in his coalition, was the latest episode of internal strife that has persisted since the government took office in the year 2022. Now, last year, Netanyahu tried to sack Gallant over his opposition to plans to curb the power of the Supreme Court, but then was forced to reverse it in the face of mass protests by hundreds of thousands of Israelis. Commenting on the very public row between both Israeli politicians, Hamas's leader, Izzat al-Rishk, stated that Gallant's admission backed what the group has been saying all along, that Netanyahu has been lying to the world and to the hostages' families and that he did care about the hostages' lives, not wanting to reach an agreement. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.